Travis called me and said, hey, I wanna put a challenge out to you and Matt Sarah. You guys are always talking shit about the vegans. I want you to come check out my vegan restaurant. We got an awesome story here today because we were watching the show Looking for a Fight with Dana White, which is an awesome show if you are an MMA fan. Dana White, Matt Sarah, traveling all over the states trying to find some fighters and they're stopping at a lot of restaurants along the way. And one thing we noticed is that they're eating a lot of meat and cheese. This is so good, so good. I'm on my second cheesesteak. Go, 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 fat boy, go. It looks like we're not the only ones who noticed this. Longtime vegan Travis Barker actually saw all the episodes challenge Dana White and Matt Sarah to go to his vegan restaurant and give it a try. I see what you guys are eating on all the episodes. Yeah. <laughs> a good friend of mine, Travis Barker, who is a vegan, has a vegan restaurant in LA called Crossroads. Now, what are those chunks? Carrots. You know, the carrots. Now, this is going to. Kind of tastes like bolognese sauce. I guess we'll know. No, no, no. There's a, there's, yeah, there's a. I'm like, usually it's already meat. I'm there's a vegan that. sausage that we grind up in there. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. And then we're gonna hit it with a bit of cream and the cream. Of course, they were all skeptical at first, but in the end, they were all blown away with how delicious the food actually was. Especially Matt Sarah, coming from an Italian family. It's gonna be hot. Oh wow, is it hot? Oh wow, it's really hot as hell, but. <laughs> That's hot as hell, but I'm blown away. Yeah? I am blown away. I am You're blown not, away. not blowing smoke up my ass. Dude, I would not do that. And I'm telling you, my father in law cereals right off the boat from Italy at 21. They make the homemade sauce, yeah. homemade pasta. This is amazing. They made a bolognese sauce. I saw carrots in it. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm gonna throw this on the floor. Me and Dean were sharing a plate. We didn't even split it up. We're fucking like Lady and the Tramp in that fucking thing. That food was so good that I wish they had a restaurant like that in, in New York and me. Oh man, I'm, I'm stuffed. Matt couldn't believe how good the food actually was and even wishes there were places like that in New York. Oh, I'm sure there is. You just have to look for the vegan restaurants. That food was so good that I wish they had a restaurant like that in, in New York and me. Oh man, I'm, I'm stuffed. With so many delicious plant-based options and all the plant-based UFC fighters doing so well, the stereotypes of vegans being weak and not having good food is truly breaking. I want to show you the vegan food isn't for, you know, can I swear it isn't for pussies? I know Dana White and Matt Sayre are conscious of their weight and they do want to be healthy people and I'm sure their eyes are going to be open to more plant-based options in the future. Big shout out to Travis Barker for serving up that mean vegan food. Good call. What, what you guys have to eat? We ate everything, man. Food was fantastic. Oh, I'm so glad you guys came to brunch. And the place is beautiful. And I'm so glad you hit me up about this because in a million years we would have never gone to a vegan place, right? I was dreading it. <laughs> <laughs> and we strongly recommend for everyone to take a look for the plant-based vegan restaurants around them and give it a shot. Also, when you're strolling through the grocery store, just try and swing by the health food section and see what kind of vegan alternatives you can get. They're so delicious and they're pretty, they're pretty cheap. And you may be surprised with what you'll find. At the vegan restaurant, look how excited yeah. I get. So, if you guys want to see Matt, Sarah, and Dana White keep making healthier food choices, pop a like on this video, comment down below, let me know some of the vegan restaurants that you're eating at. Subscribe to the channel, guys, we're making videos all the time because food specials are live and it's food specials for the win. This is Nick, you've never met Nick before. Hi, what's up, Nick, bro? Nick's, Nick's a weirdo vegan, he doesn't eat meat.